Welcome to another super special summer edition uh, of uh, Professor Dr. Duba's uh, videos. Uh, I uh, wanted to share some uh, terrific news uh, with you. Uh, perhaps you can already guess uh, what the news is. Uh, if you perhaps noticed uh, a change in, uh, in my attire. Uh, and uh, this change is, as you might see, uh, a, a super special uh, lab coat made especially for uh, legal scientists. And uh, as you might have noticed, uh, it is uh, embroidered uh, uh, to indicate that this is my uh, super special legal scientist uh, lab coat. And I have been forced to conduct uh, legal scientific research without uh, this crucial piece of uh, equipment, uh, and I must say, uh, it never quite felt uh, right. I, I never quite, uh, quite felt as scientific uh, as I might, uh, and, and now I know why. Uh, the reason is because I did not have uh, a lab coat. Now, uh, I must say, I am still uh, disturbed by the fact that um, there is no place in uh, the uh, Department of Legal Science uh, here uh, where I might put the lab coat. There, there are no lab coat racks, uh, and as I might have mentioned, uh, there are unfortunately no plans to install uh, such racks in uh, the new building currently uh, under construction. Uh, but I have high hopes, given that I have now finally received my official legal scientist lab coat to conduct legal scientific research, uh, I have high hopes that uh, now uh, we will also have uh, racks for these lab coats, because where are you going to put the lab coat if you are not wearing it? Uh, it must be placed on uh, a special lab coat uh, rack. Uh, that seems too obvious uh, for words and um, to require saying. But I said it anyway. At any rate, I am delighted to now have uh, a, a, a lab coat for my legal scientific research. Finally, uh, I will be able to operate uh, the equipment uh, necessary for conducting legal scientific research. For example, as I mentioned uh, elsewhere, I now finally have uh, the proper outfit to operate uh, the rule of laundromat, uh, not to mention the uh, Dunsmuir uh, machine, um, both of which are incredibly important for conducting legal scientific research in the field of administrative uh, legal science. Uh, and I want to tell you uh, something else, that along with the lab code, I uh, received another piece of equipment which will make it possible for the very first time for me to conduct experiments with a very important but also incredibly dangerous uh, piece of equipment. This is the famous, very important respectometer, again, for conducting research in administrative law. And let me show you what that piece of equipment is that will make it possible for me to conduct uh, this research. Well, this, of course, is the special set of legal science uh, goggles that will allow me to conduct uh, the dangerous and very sensitive explosive research that is required to find out just precisely how the respectometer operates and when it has found the proper level of respect sending off the appropriate signals and sounds indicating having found the appropriate level of deference in the review of administrative decisions by the courts, I now finally can operate the respectometer. I need not fear for my eyesight. Uh, I need not fear to be overwhelmed with the splatter that occasionally occurs when the respectometer is in operation because I now have these super special legal science goggles to go with my personalized legal science lab code. Thank you very much for listening and uh, continue to have a very pleasant legal scientific summer.